Check this out. This is the keyboard that you've grown up with. This is what you're used to. Your father grew up with this. Your grandfather grew up with this. It's the same keyboard that everybody's been using and basically it's designed around the typewriter and the QWERTY keypad because of the QWERTY. Now, why are the keys laid out like this? A lot of people think that he moved the keys around because people were typing too fast and the mechanical hammers were jamming. And so he moved the keys around to slow people down. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Some people think that uh, he laid it out this way so the word typewriter would be on the top row. That might be the case, but the thing is, this thing was invented before the light bulb, before the telephone, before AC power. And so why are we using it today? But here's the idea. Replace the entire keyboard with only 10 keys. Just right on the tips of your fingers. Let me show you how it works. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, Shift, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, Shift, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So you can do the entire alphabet with just 10 keys. In fact, you can do the entire keyboard with just 10 keys. And your hands don't have to move, just your fingertips. Much more natural user interface. And the interface can be done in so many different ways. It can be embedded into clothing. You can have it on the tips of gloves and then just type with the tips of your fingers, wherever you are, underwater, outer space. You can type just about anywhere, walking down the beach or wherever you're going. You could have it on the back of a PDA or a PVP or an ultra mobile PC. Much bigger screen because you got all the buttons on the back. Type with your fingers on the back. You got all that room for a screen. Much cooler. You can even do it on a TV remote control, the entire keyboard. So not only can you control your VCR, your audio video system, you can control your entire PC. You can have it on a cell phone, much bigger buttons, much easier to deal with. You could have it on the edge of a steering wheel so you can type while you're in a car or access your navigation computer or change your radio stations, do everything electronically in your car. Never have to move your fingers, never have to leave the steering wheel never have to look at anything. Or my favorite, you could have it on a video game controller. 10 buttons, 10 keys, simple way to interface, text, type. Imagine playing World of Warcraft with this. Uh, my name is PMS M Peace. Um, I am a member of the PMS clan, it's all female gaming clan. And we are a pro um, gaming clan as well. And I just wanted to recommend this um, amazing idea of a new keypad for the Xbox 360. How it works is these would th this will be your keypad from A through D and whatnot also on the other side. Um, I definitely think it's an amazing idea as far as that goes. The comfort um, fits perfectly in the palms of both of your hands. The finger location is amazing, does not um, interfere with any of your buttons or any other kind of actions you may need to take as far as that goes. And I think it's an amazing idea and I look forward to the future of maybe seeing this um, possible for a 360 controller. That'd be great. And now for something completely different. I thought for a long time that it'd be really cool if you could do the entire keyboard on a video game controller and apparently somebody else thought it would be cool too and they wrapped basically the keyboard around a video game controller and added about 50 buttons on this thing. It's, it's really kind of kind of complicated, a little bit confusing, somewhat intimidating. This is the way I think it could be done. Just 10 buttons, one for each finger so that your hands are in a natural position. Single press for the first 10 letters, hold down one thumb for the next eight, the other thumb for the last eight. Eight and eight, 16 plus 10 is 26. And then each button is a shift key, so you hold down one button and press another. That gives you 100 combinations with just 10 buttons. An easy way to be able to text, message, play video games, play MMORPGs, anything you want, all on a video game controller. Pretty cool, huh? It's awesome. It's amazing, actually. Just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. It's very easy to use. That's it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's really clever. I like it. And so for mobile technology, we've decided to use the phone keypad as the best way to type. <laughs> the phone keypad, something similar to this. But if you notice, there's no Q and there's no Z. Well, they were added back in the 80s when finally they decided that 
well, we gotta have the Q and the Z if we're gonna make this a keyboard. And it was never designed to be a keyboard, but you know, they basically modified it in order to make it work. And uh, it works, but now you're tapping at keys three, four, and five times, and going to menus, and scrolling through, and picking things. I can do the entire keyboard with only 10 keys, only two pushes for anything you want. Now check out these keystrokes. Nintendo makes a fabulous video game system with the Wii. But to type, you gotta point at the on-screen keyboard and poke at buttons. It's really kind of a pain. But now, here's an easier way that you could do it with just the nunchuck. Two buttons and a joystick. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J and hold in one button, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, then the other, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Eight positions, two buttons, the entire alphabet, right on a nunchuck. With the intended system, it's that easy. Texting on the go has become an important facet of modern society, but scribbling on glass or poking at dozens of buttons can be dangerous because people aren't watching where they're going and they're walking into trees or out in the middle of traffic. In London, they've started padding the lampposts in order to fix the problem. <laughs> but of course, the problem only gets worse when the person that's texting is also driving. But now, what if you didn't have to look in order to text? What if there was a system that was so simple that you could text and keep your eyes and your attention on the world around you? Something small enough for mobile technology, but versatile enough to use anywhere. Something easy to learn, but that could be applied to the arms of a chair or a bank ATM, a TV remote or a video game controller. Well, that's what we're doing. That's what's intended. And that's the kind of innovation that's coming out of small business in America. But if we ever want to be big business, if you ever want to get your hands on this, well, we really need your help. If you like what we're doing, send a link to a friend. Tell them what's going on post a comment, write a blog. Let the corporate bigwigs know that you want more out of technology. You want your technology to be safer, simpler, and more natural, the way it's intended.